Welcome everyone to the, our reveal of our 20, 2026 products. So I'm going to open InfoWorks now for the first time and let's see what we have. How long does it take to open? So double click in here. Come on. There we go. Well, let's just see how long it takes to open here. There's not been, a, I will say there's not been a lot of improvements. You know, it's very limited how many improvements have been made compared to Civil 3D and, and AutoCAD. Here we go. So, um, enjoy full set. Continue. You get this welcome screen. Hit OK. And there we go. Now it does remember everything I had previously here. Um, we can go to see what's new. If I click on what's new, and you'll notice the two features that's been released so far uh, about the geometry of the girder ends and also the vertical pier placements. So it's mostly related to um, uh, bridges. But I will say there's other smaller improvements that have been made, I think, with the construction cloud and stuff like that. We do have a webinar coming up uh, with Autodesk uh, later this uh, couple of weeks here to talk about more in depth about InfoWorks 2026. So uh, let's go take a quick gander and take a look in here and just go to Model Builder. Let's see if we see any improvements in here. I'll turn on the aerial. There we go. And I'm just going to go and download something real quick. Uh, we'll use we'll use a rectangle. Oop. Try that again. All right. And then I'm just going to call it you know, site project. And I will use our state plane, which is a TX83 North Central Foot. Uh, oops, no, not there. Here <laughs> um, and da -da -da, TX A3 dash NCF for no central foot. Okay, and then we just say um, you know, subdivision or something, and then we'll let it do its thing to go download all the data um, for that particular area. This is actually a giant thousand acre development here. Uh, this is owned by a ranch, uh, a client that had this ranch, and now they sold it in Frisco. They're subdivided now, but everything was fully developed around it. And you had this 1,000 acre block that was owned by a family. Uh, but uh, now you can see it's being subdivided now, finally creating subdivisions. So this is a uh, Frisco, North Dallas area. So right, I'll close this out and then uh, we'll see how long it takes. Uh, we'll sit and wait to see how long it takes to download something that large and stuff. So um, I will open other little projects. I don't think I have it in here. No, I don't. Uh, the showing examples of the stuff that I've modeled. These other stuff here is mostly for contours, drainage, um, uh, analysis uh, for projects I've worked on. So, all right. Now, if you are working on the ACC cloud, you can go to AC Docs here and then um, uh, access your files in here. I think I only have like one or two files in here that I've played around in the past, but I don't really don't use ACC cloud uh, at all. So. Okay, let's go back to the recent. Let's see if I can open a project. See if it's there yet. It's also based on the size here. That was a thousand something acres, so it's it's may take a while to drop download all those uh, that particular area. So it's such a large area, so much larger than these other areas I have downloaded in here, except for this one over here, this Houston site. So it's pretty large. Now I still use InfoWorks for, drain, like I said, drainage analysis. Sometimes I might go and create a very simple roundabout in InfoWorks and then take it right into Civil 3D just to save time. That way it already has all the corridors and stuff built in there and that can do some fine tuning and stuff like that. Uh, if you're not really uh, familiar or got a good hand uh, handle on using the roundabout tool in, in vehicle tracking or, or even civil 3d so uh -huh. there we go there it is now when I click on it, it's gonna ask me that I want to do local or cloud so I'm doing local I've had nothing but problems with ACC. Even when I put it on the cloud, I go home and I can't access those files. So I kind of gave up on that. <laughs> All right, let it download. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, now it's load, loading the file.
and there it is there's our site you can see it's probably because all these houses it was downloading the little individual homes and stuff that was downloading so uh, it's got a pretty good up-to-date aerial uh, in here uh, you know for better performance you can always just switch it over to uh, uh, to engineering and so the opacity is turned on the visualization is turned down lower so it moves much faster and stuff so um, now let's go um, to let's see what we want to do here um, let's go hmm let me go to we'll go in our settings here there we go and I'm going to maybe I just want to turn on the contours if you just want to turn on the contours uh, in here you can that way you can see it uh, it's set to 1 and 5 uh, in here so you got 1 and 5 um, intervals of 200 um, okay now you can see some of the contours start showing up when you zoom in there you go you can see the contours start now start to show up um, and you can turn off uh, change the the intervals also if you wanted to and stuff like that so yeah okay all right so you can see it's running pretty smooth um, once in, in probably two or three weeks we'll do a webinar uh, talking about other additional small features and updates have been done to InfoWorks 2026. All right, thanks for watching. All right, later.